Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my very first makeup haul. What I'm going to be doing with this video is just showing you um, some of the things I bought whenever I was at Sephora or online and just kind of showing you how it would look um, with the um, style I'm going to be going with today. I have a couple eyeshadows, uh, some lipstick, and some new false eyelashes. My rosacea is acting up today. I just kind of fixed my face up just a little bit. If you guys do like this video, you know what you guys think. And if you um, are new, I hope you guys would subscribe and kind of keep updates. I'm going to try and do some more videos for you guys just because I've been slacking. So in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So for today's makeup haul, I'm going to be using these items that I got at Sephora yesterday. Um, these are actually some pretty cool items. I've been kind of going through um, a phase where I like to use a lot of dark colors, whether, whether it be with lipstick or eyeshadow. The three eyeshadows that I got yesterday are from Urban Decay. Um, the first one is called Tease. Now the one I've been hearing about the most is Chopper, which is this one right here. It's more of a glittery eyeshadow. The third eyeshadow I got is Lost. This is more of a brown glittery eyeshadow. Now the lipstick that I got yesterday is from Smashbox. It is a matte lipstick and it's called Punked. And it is a matte grayish purple lipstick. And then I got some false eye eyelashes yesterday from Makeup Forever. This is more of a natural um, wispy eyelashes that I've been looking for. So in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial I'll be doing for you guys. So I decided to fast forward through some of the tutorial. Um, I decided to do my eyebrows, um, the brow bone a little bit, and then I added my concealer um, just so it wouldn't take up too much time. So I'm not going to apply my foundation just yet. Um, I'm going to start off doing my eyeshadow and then um, the eyeliner and once I kind of have that out of the way I can clean it up a little bit with some more concealer and then adding the foundation. Also I forgot to mention um, elephant in the room. Um, yeah, I got my septum pierced about two weeks ago. I also got another tattoo. I don't know if you can see it really well. It's a portrait of a cat that I had named Puddin that I've had for 13 years. I'll talk about it more once it's fully healed um, so you can kind of see it a little bit better in another vlog. But in the meantime, let's continue. And for those that are wondering um, how I was able to cover up my rosacea, um, I also had some dark circles. Uh, I figured I mentioned it in the video too. Um, a while back, I got a color corrector by Makeup Forever. Um, it's a little bit messy right now just because I was using it. Uh, oh god, I just stuck my finger in it. Yuck. It's actually a really good product if you have dark circles, um, if you have any redness. In this case, I have rosacea on my cheeks. And I'm being interrupted. You have the different colors here. Um, I, you can use the green for the red because the green cancels out the red. You have to learn the color wheel and I will tell you that it is very amazing when you do learn the color wheel, one of the benefits of going to school for it. I highly recommend if you're looking for something to give it more coverage and to also kind of hide those little imperfections, I suppose. I also used Makeup Forever's full cover um, concealer. It's actually very um, full, full, um, full coverage. It is also waterproof. I have yet to go swimming with this while on a date, so I can't say for sure how that would work. Um, but other than that, this is very, um, it's very good. I really recommend. I use this for my eyes right here. Um, so I really love this product. Definitely recommend this and this both by Makeup Forever. They're very good products and you can get them at Sephora. using a uh, tease from Urban Decay for my base kind of for my uh, brow bone again it's that matte top toppy color um, I really like how pigmented it is I don't know if the lighting on my camera gives it any justice 
but this is how I'm going to start it off by using this as a little um, covers before I apply the other eyeshadows. Um, I don't know, I actually really like it compared to some of the other um, similar eyeshadows that I have in my um, things, my other things, my other things. But yeah, this actually looks really good. The next thing I'm going to apply is actually the um, base on my lid um, because I'm using some sparkles for my lid. I'm going to use Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be using Tempera, I think. I'm sorry if I missed my I'm really bad at that. Um, but that's going to be this color right here. And that's going to be the base for my eyelid. So when I apply that... Oh. All right, so now I'm going to apply. Okay, so we have the base for my lid ready. Um, because it's going to be kind of glittery, I'm going to add some more um, primer, but um, the primer I'm going to be using is Stylus Stay All Day Liquid Eye Primer. Um, this came with um, some eyeshadow that kind of that's like flaky. Um, I don't really use it that much just because I don't like how flaky it is. Um, but the primer that comes with it is actually amazing if you're using a lot of sparkly uh, eyeshadow. It is actually really good and I use it for stuff like that because it stays on all day. The taste of this, I feel you scream and fall, so we let it go. Just put it on me, put it on me. Just turn, turn me on, now I got you feeling for it. Alright, so the first one I'm going to add is Chopper. And again, it looks like this. It's very glittery and I love it. Now that I applied Chopper, I have it on both of my lids. I'm going to apply Loss. Um, on the corners right here just to kind of blend it a little bit and just kind of give it a gradient look. Okay, so I applied loss to the corners. Um, I'm gonna actually gonna blend it a little bit more by using one of my more darker um, matte eyeshadows. Um, what I'm going to be using for that, I think I might go back and use my Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to apply Cypress Umber in the corners just to kind of help blend it out just a little bit. I applied the Cypress Umber to my brow bone just a little bit. I'm going to actually blend out some more of the eyeshadow again just because um, the Cypress Umber is highly pigmented and sometimes ends up looking a lot darker than you expect it to be. Um, in this case, I just applied a little bit too much. That's where you can learn from your mistakes. <laughs> So I blended out 
the cypress umber, the chopper, and the loss a little bit, and it actually looks a lot better than when I applied it. It just looks like I kind of just drew like a thick line, and I don't want that to happen. So um, now we did that, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my brow bone just a little bit more. <laughs> Eyeshadow done. Um, now that I oh, I, just, I hit my funny bone. <laughs> Anyways, um, now that we did that, I'm going to start adding eyeliner and then the false eyelashes. So I'm going to clean this up, and that's where I'm going to apply my foundation, and we can have this tutorial done. So the liquid eyeliner I'm going to use is by Sephora, and it's in black and I'm going to do a winged eyeliner. And actually before I forget to, I will be adding eye eyeshadow to the bottom of my eyelids. I like to start doing the eyeliner first, and then, or the liquid eyeliner first, and then adding it from there. That's it's my madness. The fun part is applying the liquid winged eyeliner successfully. So we'll see how that works. <laughs> jinx myself mouth to mouth I breathe you in swallow down your jacket sin let it drown inside my veins the sweetest poison I could take you make it an art the way that you go with every word but before we reach the end strip me down again come and get it one more time oh. I'm happy to announce that I managed to have decent and slightly even winged eyeliner. Thank God, because who would have thought that winged eyeliner could be so stressful on one's face? <laughs> I'm going to be doing the. I'm going to be using some mascara real quick. <laughs> I have the eyeliner done. I'm going to add some to the bottom of my lower lid. And I'm thinking I will use some of Lost again just to kind of help blend it out just a little bit. have the bottom lid done now what I'm gonna do is so I can clean up the makeup I'm going to apply that concealer again um, which I will be using the full cover from makeup forever by collisions with such body cleaning up the eyeliner so it's not too messy. So now that we have that, I'm going to apply my foundation uh, real quick and then I'm going to apply the um, false eyelashes, just gonna kinda let the eyeliner dry just a little bit. So I did my foundation. Um, also, my foundation is actually a lot lighter um, for my face right now just because I 
been working outside a lot and because of that my skin has been getting a tan so I have yet to buy myself the proper shade for my face so you have to bear with me um now I have some of my contour stuff on my face oh my nose it's just so bad so now we're going to blend that out <laughs> contour done again kind of like to keep it a little bit light but now I'm going to be using my where is it my Becca highlights translucent uh, finishing powder to finish that off done so now what I'm, gonna do is I'm going to add some blush first that I'm going to be using is love flush from Too Faced um, this is a set of blushes and I really really love these um, I'm going to use an angled brush for this I'm not sure I've been using my morphe brushes forever and I'm still trying to figure out which one is which <laughs> so I'm gonna be using love hangover the first one on the left just to kind of give a little bit more color to my face since my foundation is a lot lighter. Would you ever forget anything? I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. I really want to get the new ones that they got just because but in the meantime, I'm going to be using Summer for the highlight. It's great. And I'm going to probably put some in the corner of my inner corner of my eyes too, just to kind of complement that. So I will be using my Nito Fan brush on my Morphe brush kit. And this stuff is very pigmented too. I love it. <laughs> actually power a whole city with this light. Watch out guys. Be lighting up your city. I'm going to apply my false eyelashes that I got. <laughs> and so far I am not dying. Progress right there. <laughs> so first I'm going to add some 
lip liner. And if I can find it. And here we go. Okay, perfect. I think. No, darn it. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. the lipstick. The lip liner is a little bit lighter. Um, it's just all I have right now. So we're just going to try and cover that up. All right. done with the look. The only thing I have to say about the lipstick is it does have to take a couple or a few layers for it to actually stick because if you go kind of go like then it kind of wears off a little bit but other than that I really like the color. It's different. Um, so yeah we are now done with the look. Guys here is a closer look at the final product of all the stuff I used today for the video. And I really like the outcome. And I hope you guys too. I hope you guys had fun watching my video. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you have any questions regarding the products I use, leave the comments below. And if you would like to join my channel, I hope you guys can subscribe so you can enjoy many more videos to come. But in the meantime, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed your time watching my first makeup haul slash tutorial vlog.